Hi, I'm Paul, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your 6890 LTE. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll open the box and we'll take out the things that we need for this setup. So to start with, we want the router, and then we're going to want the SIM. Now if you open the back panel, you'll find your DSL cable, two antennas or aerials, and then on the right hand side, you'll find the power pack as well as the power pins and for this install that's all we need. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is install the SIM and the reason for that is the SIM slot that you'll find here is obscured by the antenna. So first things first get your SIM and pop it out. Now you want a full-sized standard SIM you don't want a micro or nano SIM that SIM that a lot of us are used to with modern phones, you want the full sized SIM. And then you want to put this with the chip side pointing down so the dint is on the left hand side. If you're unsure, just look at the diagram for example. And we'll slot that in and you'll hear a little click and then you know that it's in. Next thing we want to do is screw on the antennas or aerials, whichever you prefer. So these quite simply screw on like so. You don't have to use the ones that come with the Fritz box if you have your own or ones you prefer to use instead. Feel free to use them provided they screw on and are compatible. Now that they're on, next thing we're going to want to do is set up your DSL cable. And what I mean by that is get your DSL cable and connect it to your phone socket. So, as with Fritz boxes, as with other Fritz boxes, you'll have a long DSL cable. One side will be small, one side will be big. You want to take the big side of the cable, or the RJ45 side of the cable, and plug it into the DSL port on the back of your Fritz box. Now, this is only DSL because it's Sagia or Broadband or FTTC. You wouldn't do this for FTTP, that would be a different setup. And then with the small side of your DSL cable, you want to go to your filtered faceplate on your socket and you want to plug it into the smaller side of the socket. Like so. You may have a different style socket or a different filter on your socket. If you're unsure of how to connect into that, I'll go through it in this video here where I talk about all different types of sockets. If you find that your router doesn't have a filtered faceplate, what you may need is a micro filter and you should have this from your previous broadband service. Don't worry, you can still use the same one. Simply connect the smaller end into the filter like so and then that will just slot into your socket or again any different style socket that you have. So. So now that we're connected into the phone socket, what you then want to do is assemble your power cable. Now, simply get the pins, get the two pins at the bottom, hook that in, and wait for the click. That's now assembled. You want to plug this in to the back of the Fritz box, so the power port here. And that's it. Simply wait about five to 10 minutes for this to set up. Go and make yourself a cup of tea, have a minute, and after 10 minutes, everything should be done. And within that time, the router will get itself set up, it'll call into Zen, and we'll do the rest. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please click on that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please click on that subscribe button. But until next time, thank you very much.